Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoors with Creed. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, please drop down there, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notified anytime I do a video. Also, if you would take the time to comment on the video, let me know what you think. Smash that thumbs up button if you like the video. And also please share this with everybody that you know to help the channel grow. Uh, today, I'm doing a Monster Bass video. Uh, I tried this one once before. I, when I reviewed it, I didn't like it. I scrapped it. So now I'm trying to reshoot it. Hopefully this one turns out just a little bit better for you guys. Uh, today, the video is going to be sponsored by, of course, Monster Bass itself. Monster Bass is a monthly subscription bait company. But unlike the other um, monthly subscription boxes you can get for your baits, Monster Bass is doing something different. Uh, first of all, it's based on your region. So, I live in Arkansas. When I subscribe to Monster Bass, I select the region that I'm fishing in. So, that way, I'm not getting a bunch of baits that might work um, over in California. But really won't do anything for me in my region where I live. So that's one of the good things about Monster Bass. You pick the region that you're fishing in. Now, some of the baits uh, might be the same, but the colors are going to uh, be different based on that region that you're fishing in. So that's one of the good things about Monster Bass. They're not just your average, you know, put some baits in a box, send them out there, and then we're done. Monster Bass also, uh, for one, they're partnered up with a lot of your major uh, brand companies as well as uh, some of your local companies. Rick and the guys and girls over at Monster Bass, uh, they're trying to help those small companies you know, get out there into the market in the fishing industry. So he reviews some of these baits from local companies and if he thinks it's good enough for Monster Bass, he, he partners up with those guys and you'll get some of their baits in your boxes. Also, if you go to the website, monsterbass.com, you can buy some of those baits straight from Monster Bass themselves. So, that's one of the good things about Monster Bass, and that's one of the things that set them apart from the other bait companies. So, with all of that, uh, drop down below. There will be a link for Monster Bass down there. Um, right now, I think they're running a deal where if you sign up for three months, you get the fourth month for free. Uh, the box that I have is the regional box. It's $35 a month. Now, if you go on to a lot of the baits are price comparison with uh, Tackle Warehouse. So if you go to Tackle Warehouse and look at the amount for your baits and then you look at what you get in your box and compare those baits to how much you would be paying for uh, the same stuff on Tackle Warehouse, you'll be paying up to about $50 to $55 depending on what baits are in those boxes. You will be saving yourself at least $20 to $25 a box based on those prices compared to Tackle Warehouse or any other um, uh, where, um, I was about to say warehouse, any other website that you might buy your tackle from. So click on that link. Look at Monster Bass, subscribe to Monster Bass. Also, check out their uh, videos on YouTube where some of the pro staff from Monster Bass have went on there and done a breakdown of those baits, how they like to fish them and things like that. So they're also educating you, especially, you know, it's not just for the new guys. Even the, the seasoned guys, you're never too old to, to learn new techniques. So... They're all about educating you on how to use the baits that they're actually presenting to you and introducing you to new baits to get out there and fish with. So jump down there, click on that link for Monster Bass, subscribe to them, and basically have Christmas or birthday every month. You get a new box sent to your door, and it's full of baits that some of them, even myself, there's baits that I have never thought about buying, and they're actually some pretty awesome baits. So Jump down there and click on that and check them out. Also, Wu Tungsten, great weights. Uh, they're partnered up with Seth Fighter. So they have some of his uh, flipping jigs and stuff like that made with tungsten weights. As well as uh, other guys, Mark Daniels Jr. Um, 
just a lot of great fishermen that's out there uh, in the tournament circuits. But Wu Tungsten has got some awesome baits. Uh, some of their weights also, I said baits, I'm sorry, their weights and like some of their swim bait hooks. Awesome, awesome hooks. The keepers on them are great, easy to use and uh, really good prices and they're really good people. I talk to the owner, Aaron Anders, all the time, you know, holidays, birthdays, stuff like that. Really good people, really good company. So check them out also, Wu Tungsten. I will leave a link for them also down below. Now, let's jump into this box. So Monster Bass has been doing a thing where every month they they focus on like a specific technique. We've done Carolina rig, we have done uh, Texas rig. Uh, what is another one that we've done? I cannot think of it off the top of my head. But this month, for the month of August, they, they focused on the Ned rig. And what they've done to really get down to what the Ned Rig is, Rick talked to the man himself, Ned Keed, the man who invented uh, the Ned Rig technique to really get an understanding of what he was going for when he came up with this technique. It's all in this little booklet here that Monster Bass will send you that talks about the, the bait, the technique of fishing it, how it came about what made it so popular you know like when was it standout moment in the fishing industry that just made this technique come out we also have other baits that uh fished other parts of the the column in the water so it's it's an all-around it's a great box so let's see here where do i want to start you know what let's start with lesson number one for fishing the ned rig so what we're going to do I'm going to talk about the gear. So for the Ned Rig, it's suggested that you use 7 foot medium light action spinning rod. Uh, the Ned Rig is a finesse technique and most te finesse techniques calls for light line and light um, action rods. So you want a 7 foot medium light action rod. The line, 6 to 12 pound fluorocarbon. And the reel size, a 3000 size spinning reel any of your favorite reel companies you know whatever you want to go with and in this box for the Ned Rig uh, Monster Bass has sent their very own Ned Heads and these are not you know your typical you know what I'm not even gonna say it there's no such thing as typical in fishing everything is very unique in its own way so Monster Bass with their Ned heads. Most of them are your straight shank uh, jig head styles. This one is an EWG so it gives you that extra wide gap there so when you run your plastic up there you can rig these weedless and it helps that bait sit on there a lot straighter and you're able to fish this in a little bit more cover than what you would with your traditional open hook style when you're Ned fishing. But so you will get a pack of the Monster Bass Ned Heads. And for Ned Rigging, they sent the Rabbit Baits, Ned Baits, with that foxtail hair. And I wish I had a video of this stuff in water so you can see how that, that hair kind of pulsates in the water. Really gives off a lot of, you know, a really good subtle action those finicky bass they don't like a whole lot of action so with this especially if there's a little bit of current it just very slowly pulsates just enough to get those fish to bite and then we have the uh, X zone 4.25 Ned zone baits and these are called the uh, minnow magic and these are a little bit longer than what your traditional Ned baits uh, most people go with something a little bit shorter like the rabbit baits, but these Neds gives you a little bit bigger profile with that finesse technique. So that way, you know, because not all of your baits are going to be small when it comes to finesse style. But I'm going to get one of these out. And do a rig real quick with one of these X zones. So, you got your bait here, this little bulb tail, 
what you want to do is take your hook, run it through, you know, quarter inch maybe, and just run it right back out like so. And then you want to rig this like you do any other Texas rig. Run it up on there and then turn it just like that. I don't know if you guys can see how that is. And then as you can see where that is already starting to fall where you want that hook to come back out. So you just run it up on there. Eh, probably pinch it up a little bit more. You do want to make sure that this is on straight. If you want to, right here, see how mine is kind of separating just a little bit right there. You can put a little dab of super glue right there. Text pose that a little bit. And now that is super weedless. I can fish this in some cover. And that head will sit on the bottom like this. And then this tail is just going to sit in the air just kicking like crazy. And as you're dragging that along the bottom or even hopping it, even those, you know, the finickiest bass that just don't really feel like chasing baits, this will present a, a very good meal for them to uh, go after, something very easy. And it, it's a good way to help you put more fish in the boat. Um, I know some people think that uh, using spinning tackle, since it's light tackle, you can't really go after a uh, really big fish. That is far from being true. Uh, one of the tournaments that I was watching uh, Brian Latimer fish when he was still with, before FLW got bought out by Major League Fishing. Uh, I believe that was on Cherokee. And he won that tournament. It was his first tournament to win as a professional angler. And most of his tackle that he was using in that tournament was uh, finesse, spinning tackle. So you can catch big fish using spinning tackle. But uh, suggestions on where to fish this. Pumps, ledges, open water, riprap points, docks, rocks, and trees. Uh, this is a technique that you don't have to fish on the bottom. You can swim that bait through there and present itself as a bait fish of some kind and trigger a lot of bites. Let's see here. So, we're moving on to lesson number two. And the bait for that one is a jerk bait. And for this box, we have the Monster Bass Slick Stick 99. Uh, this color is called Ghost Pro Black. This is a 99 millimeter lure, meaning the length. And it's a half ounce. I believe it's a floating. So it is going to float uh, your jerk baits. Whatever your favorite jerk bait setup. Let's see here. Let's see what Monster Bass tells us. Monster Bass suggests. 610 medium action graphite rod with a fast tip. 14 pound fluorocarbon line, 7.3 to 1 gear ratio bait caster. Uh, again, your favorite bait casting setup for jerk baits, and you want to work that bait in a downward motion. Make sure you always point your rod back at the bait. So when you jerk down, come back up to where that bait is at to throw that slack back in the line. You want to work this bait on slack line. That way it gives it that darting action. The cadence of this bait is going to depend on how active or inactive the fish are. If they want something running, you're probably going to be able to go with a one, one, two, one, one, two, one, something that's going to give it a fast action. If they're a little bit more lethargic, not real active, not chasing a lot of bait, they want that easy prey, they want that easy meal, then you're probably going to have to give it that one. And then pause for five to ten seconds. And then maybe give it a quick one, two. And then another long five to ten second pause. Give them time to react to that bait. Because again, they're not really chasing. So they want something that's easy. So put a long pause in there to entice them to bite. Okay. And then we're going to move on. Here's the section here in the book where he talks to Ned about the Ned rig and how he came about you know coming up with this design and this rig. Lesson number three 
is a spinner bait. And for lesson number three, we have a vicious uh, spin doctor spinner bait. It's a 3 8 ounce white chartreuse is the color. You have a double willow leaf blade on here. The top blade they painted with a chartreuse color and added a little bit of a silver flake in there to give a little bit more flash. And then you can also pair this up with a paddle tail swim bait such as this uh, net bait that they sent. This color is called Green Pumpkin Texas Red. But that should pair up with that or any other color that you've got that might pair up with that uh, chartreuse, uh, sexy shad color maybe. That's kind of what that looks like to me when I see it is a sexy shad. But this uh, bag of net bait is a good bait to pair up with that spinner bait. Uh, on this one, a 7 foot medium heavy moderate action rod, 17 pound fluorocarbon, 7.31 gear ratio. Again, throw it out there and work that lure back to the boat. Uh, add a little bit of character, a little bit of action to it. Give it a couple of pumps to make that skirt flare out. Uh, change up your, your, your trailers on it. Don't always go to the normal on the trailers. It's also suggested a bio bait switchback. So that's pretty much your fluke style, minnow style baits. Something, you know, when the fish, again, are not real active and they're not looking for a whole lot of action in their baits, you want to go to something a little bit more subtle. So maybe a fluke-style bait that just gives it a trailer, give it that plastic so when the fish bite, they hold on to it a little bit longer, but nothing that's going to put off a lot of action. Now, if the fish are chasing, put that swim, that uh, paddle tail on there, that tail's going to do a lot of kicking, put off a lot of action, entice those fish to bite uh, right now. We're moving out of that spring, or excuse me, we're moving out of that summer and moving into fall, which means the fish are going to be feeding up, getting ready for winter, getting ready to hunker down. So they're trying to feed up as much as they can. So they should be chasing some bait fish. So spinner bait is going to be a good one. Uh, your jerk bait is going to be a good one. Let's see here. The next lesson, just because we're still in that summertime transitioning. Don't sleep on the top water, and for that reason, this month's monster bass has the Arc TS 115. This is a top water bait. It sits on the top. It's a floater. Uh, the color for this is called Shark Dog. It has a little bit of a purple hue on the top, a little bit of a chartreuse in the front. It's a translucent bait. You can see through it. So good top water bait. That early morning top water bite going. Uh, it's a walk the dog style bait. Uh, let's see here. We got seven foot medium heavy fiberglass or composite rod, 30 pound braid because you're going to be throwing this near some cover. You don't want to go deep into cover because those treble hooks you will get hung up. But you want to get close to the cover, maybe working along a, a grass line or something and working that bait. 30 pound braid, 7.31 bait casting reel. Get it out there, work that bait again. You want to slight twitches in a downward motion on slack that way it has that walk the dog going side to side action and uh, again mix up your cadence that way let the fish tell you how they want that bait if they're chasing bait fish on top then yeah work that thing work it work it work it if they're you know a little bit hesitant on it don't slow it down too much you don't want them to get a good look at it but you want that bait to keep moving enticing them Good places to throw this, grass, oh, I'm sorry, that's the spinner bait, my page flip, uh, humps, ledges, throw it in open water. Just because you're in open water, do not sleep on the fish that are up there in that top water uh, area. Rip wrap, points, docks, rocks, trees. Again, be careful throwing nether trees, but if you can get it close to the, uh, the base of that tree and work it out of there, good spot to get you some big ones out of there. And lesson number five, we have a Vixen Deep Thud. This is their Fat Boy series of crankbaits. This is a half ounce and it runs about eight feet deep. This color is called Golden Shiner. Uh, I would probably throw this some stained water, maybe. I'm going to say some stained water. 
Uh, for this one, it suggested a 7 foot medium heavy fiberglass or composite cranking rod, 20 pound monofilament or fluorocarbon line, 6.4 to 1 gear ratio reel. You don't want to reel this in too fast. You don't want to burn it, but you do want it to get down there uh, knocking on some tops of brushes, maybe banging against some sticks. Definitely want to bang this on some rocks if you're throwing it near riprap. Uh, brush piles, riprap, docks, rocks, trees. There you go. Bang it off of something. Once it starts to float back up, when it hits, that's usually when you'll get your stripes on these crankbaits. Uh, a good fluorocarbon. Uh, something that's really good with abrasion resistant when you're throwing it around cover and stuff like that. And then a good cranking rod, something that's going to have a lot of give in it. So when those fish start to surge or maybe they have only got one treble hook in them, you want something that's going to give so you don't rip those hooks out of their mouth. And then in the back of this book, they have the moon phases. So that way you can plan your next fishing trip accordingly. Or if, let's say you're fishing a tournament and that day falls on a day that's not going to be a good day, it will help you uh, pick out some good baits for those tough, tough conditions. So that way you can have the best day on the water. And then in the back here, pictures, uh, you catch a fish, send it into Monster Bass and they'll post it in the book showing off your Monster Bass, especially if you catch them on Monster Bass lures. So also, if you get a Monster Bass box, you will get one of these golden tickets that will be sent to you has a number right there on the side uh, tune in every Thursday 7 p.m. on YouTube to the Monster Bass channel to watch them live and if they call out your number you win all kinds of prizes and stuff like that from Monster Bass as always you have a cool Monster Bass sticker uh, you'll get a gift card this one ten dollars off at the store and then I had another card in here, I don't know where it went, right here. If you go to download the Fishing Chaos app, search for Monster Bass, register and use the code that's on your card here, $25 entry fee has been waived. You fish tournaments, it's got all of your rules and stuff on there on how you're supposed to either weigh or measure your fish and whoever has the biggest fish, I believe. It's for one month, a month long tournament with prizes awarded for the best five fish as well as the biggest bass. So you have one whole month to try to land that monster bass on here and try to win you some cool prizes uh, and cash. So win money and some cool gifts from monster bass. People you cannot go wrong with monster bass. It is a great thing to have. I love it. Um, I have had some fun with some of these baits. Um, I've actually got a little wall going over here where I've got some of the baits hung up. I love them. They're great and again, great people to work with. Uh, I can't say enough about them. But that's all I got for you guys tonight. Back out here in the shop, had to get some stuff done in here. Hung up a few little deals like this one right here. But uh, I'm back out here. So getting ready for uh, tournament season with my daughter, my middle daughter, Callie. If you guys remember back before she was on the school's fishing team and we're gonna give that another go so trying to get ready for that stuff might let her get out here and make her some lures to fish in those tournaments we'll have to see about that but maybe that's a video that might come up so that's all I got for you guys tonight thank you so much for tuning in can't wait to see you guys on the next video and until the next time see you guys in the great outdoors